here today to talk to you about the possibility to live a normal life in a sustainable way. Why I'm saying this? I spent the last 20 years working in the environment. The first 10 years of my life, of my job, I spent in the Balkans taking care of the requalifications of the hot spots caused by the bombing during the Yugoslavian war. After I was called back to Italy to work in the Ministry for the Environment and to take care of the project in the sustainability and in the climate change. So I spent the last 10 years running around the world and developing sustainable projects from Asia to South America, Albania, Montenegro, and so on. You can see them, 48 countries for a total of 7,000 projects. And here you can see some of the results of these projects. We have the Eco Building in the Tsinghua University in Beijing, the Eco Building in Montenegro, the Green Energy Laboratory in Shanghai, and the Ecopa Campus of the University of Tetovo in Macedonia. So, behind all this job, it's a wide team of people that is dislocating in different parts of the world, from Rome to Cosenza to Belgrade to Beijing and so on. While I was running around the world, one day I stopped to drink a bottle of water, like all of us is doing. And uh, I watched the bottle, and uh, behind this bottle, I didn't have any information about uh, how much CO2 was behind this bottle while I was drinking. And uh, I was also thinking that at least in my country, I didn't have the possibility to know how, how much CO2 I have behind all the products that I'm using every day, like milk, sugar, coffee, and so on. So, what to do at this point? Exists a tool that is called Carbon Footprint that is able to provide the data of the exact amount of the greenhouse gases that is emitting during all the steps of the production process of the goods or the services. So I say, why don't I apply this carbon footprint? And I contact the uh, corporation that was uh, producing this bottle of water. I knew that it's very sensitive to the environment. And I asked them, can I calculate your carbon footprint? And they accepted. So I want to show you this is the bottle that I was drinking, and this bottle, after our calculation, gives me 210 grams of CO2 equivalent. After two years of calculation, very difficult methodologies, we succeeded to build, to produce a new bottle that is made by recycled PIT for 30%. But as you can see, the bottle is the same, have the same quantity of liquid, have the same price. But look at what is the result. This bottle has 173 CO2 equivalent. So we reduce a lot of the CO2. And we get it that the company reduced the 30% of the consumption of the energy inside of the company and with this bottle, only for the first years, we saved 30,000 tons of CO2. And the sales, but what is most interesting, is how the consumer react. Because we have the increase of the sale only for the first year of the 78%. So what does it mean, this? That we cover a gap because in the supermarket, 
the consumer preferred to choose this bottle instead to the another bottle. So the consumer was ready to accept to have product that was more sustainable. So at that point, I decided to spread around the idea of the carbon footprint. So where to go? To go to the university. And we chose one university, the University of Venice, because it's a very complicated university to be reached, you know. Venice is an island, and we have in this university 22,000 students, 2,000 professors coming from every part of the world, coming from the surrounding area, and everybody, every day they have to reach the island. And they are using different types of the transportation, including boat and also sometimes even the gondola. And we calculated for one year the life cycle of the entire university. We calculated the canteen, even the dispenser of the snacks and the drinks. But at the end, we saw that the main problem was the transportation system. As you can see, is the most of the impact of the CO2. So how to convince the people to change their lifestyle every day and to convince them to a different way of using of transportation. We invented the carbon footprint calculator. And the carbon footprint calculator is a tool that you can download online. So the student, when he's going out of the home, he, he starts his calculator while he is reaching the university, and during the period that he is reaching the university, the calculator gives him the information how to change the type of the trans transportation to reach the university and to save the CO2. But this was not enough. We wanted to give some incentive to the student or professor that will change their attitude, so we make uh, like a certain premium on point for the student that will change their attitude on their final result. So who change will have more points in the university. I say fantastic. Now we go around to spread the, the idea to all the industry in Italy. And I start to knock, knock to all the doors of this industry. But unfortunately, nobody wanted to be calculated. Because can you imagine someone from the Ministry for the Environment that is going in the industry saying, you know, I want to calculate how much you are polluting, on, uh, how much is uh, your emissions. And, you know, we have very strict rules uh, in Europe, so they was very afraid because they said, you know, new uh, tax, new rules will come, so it's better that you stay, we continue to do your job. So I didn't give up. I continued to run around the world and to do all my sustainable project. Uh, I end up in Brazil where I have my crucial meeting. I know what are you think, I am okay with that. I already find the man of my life. But I met with one t-shirt. I, I went to one hotel and they gave me present one t-shirt. And since that I'm very curious, you know, I turn and I read from what was made this t-shirt. And the t-shirt was made from 100% organic cotton. And I say, nice, made in Brazil, but I don't believe it. So I went to the concierge and I asked, uh, from where is coming this uh, T-shirt? And he told me, you know, here we have one very famous uh, stylist. He is producing uh, things all with uh, renewable, uh, wasting things and so on. So I was very curious, and I took my daughter, and she is 14, you know, let's go to do shopping immediately. And uh, we uh, went uh, to look for these shops. When we entered in this shop, we found immediately that the things was very strange. Because in this uh, style, this brand was making shoes from wasted 
Skin Salmon, Utah Tennis Shoes, Bags Made by Wasting Pirarucu uh, Bags. Did I didn't know you, what is the Pirarucu? And after uh, organic silk dresses and so on. So I decided that I have to meet this guy and I went to look for him and at the end I get the meeting in Sao Paulo. When I met him, I told what I was doing, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I asked, can I make the carbon footprint of your brand, all your products? And he told me, you know, for me it's not enough that you do the carbon footprint. I would like that you calculate also the social environment impact on my product. You know, new challenge, I say, fantastic, let's go. And we, I bring my team of the people again, and we started to go all around the Brazil to do the certification, all the plantation of Utah, the farm of Pirarucu, the silk factory, organic silk factory in the south of the Brazil, and so on as you can see in the pictures. This is the Mexana Island, the farm of the famous Pirarucu. And at the end, what we get? We get the first carbon footprint of Brazil, the T-shirt. We will present in Rio Plus 20 next week, so you have something new here. And we have that the T-shirt that I met have 4.1 kilogram also to equivalent. But you will tell me, what does it mean, this? The main result is this, is the label. So inside of the T-shirt today, you will have all the information about what is needed to produce this T-shirt and this product, especially from where they are coming. What is the social impact? Who is working behind this T-shirt? Here you can see better, for example, one T-shirt has a 43% of consumer energy. And of course, our goal is in this year period to improve the energy quantity that is inside of the T-shirt. The use end of the life is from the moment that you buy the T-shirt until you throw away the T-shirt. It's a period of two, three years where you are using, ironing, cleaning, drying the t-shirt and so on. So also this has to be improved in Brazil. And we calculate also the other stuff. Shoes, uh, bags, uh, and you can see here how much is the total of this CO2. But what is more important? In the moment that we have the total amount of the CO2, all the products, we have to mitigate the CO2 that is produced and we have to neutralize. So the brand together with us decided to make the project in the farm of the Pirarucu, where is the farm, the fish, and where there live 200 farmers. And today they are consuming 80,000 liters of diesel per year to make the island to work and to produce, but we will change. We will change their life because we will build the new houses with photovoltaic systems and with the solar panels, so the entire island, the entire farms will become totally renewable and totally sustainable. So from one following the traces of one, T-shirt, we had uh, the social impact because we will change the life of these people and we will reduce the impact uh, of the consume from 80,000 of diesel to zero. I went back to Italy. The story of the T-shirt spread around and all doors of the industry was open. So. My story of the example of the Brazil make in Italy the industry confident. You knew that before nobody wanted to be calculated. Now I'm in trouble. I have more than 50 companies that want to be calculated. Everybody becomes sustainable. Everybody wants to have the label on their products because they saw the result that the consumer 
change their mind and they want to know what they are buying. So we are calculating coffee, wine, shampoo, beers, milk, so the product that we are using every day. This is the status of the voluntary carbon market that is growing. This is the point. The action of the carbon footprint is made on the base of the voluntary. It's not rules. There is no imposition from the government. It's action that is made from the companies that are producing. And so we don't know what will happen with these 50 companies that we are going to calculate. Can you imagine what happens with three? But for sure, we will have three advantages. One is the improvement of the production process. Two is to give the, the possibility to the consumer to choose. Three is to make the consumer aware about the CO2 or emission that he is consuming. So, and uh, I want to tell you that uh, after so many years working in the environment, my idea it is please do not stop doing but keep doing in a sustainable way because we cannot ask to the world to turn off the light and not to consume and not to use any more the things. So, end of the story or beginning a new story, I would like to propose to calculate the carbon footprint of the TED Talk. Thank you. Thank you.